Welcome back to our channel. Let me start this video off by saying, I am not a 3D printer expert. I'm looking for a 3D printer that I can just get up and running with very little effort and doesn't cost a ton of money. $1,000, that's way too much. I'm looking for something around three to $500 and 500 might be pushing it. So I'm talking about entry-level 3D printers or bed slingers. If you've done any type of searching for 3D printers, you've probably heard of a few names, different brands, Creality, Bamboo Labs, um, Prusa, Elegoo, and Anycubic, just to name a few. Not to get too technical, because again, I am no 3D printer expert. <laughs> there are generally two types of printers, resin and FDM. Fusion Deposition Modeling is what that stands for, and that will be the very last time that I say that. All you really need to know is FDM prints by layering plastic to make an object. I'll be focusing on the Anycubic Croba 3 with Ace Pro, which is, a, which is the multi-color printing system for the Cobra 3. I've owned the Cobra Pro 2 and moving from that to the Cobra 3, Anycubic has made some really good improvements on this one. The setup, it comes mostly assembled. All you have to do is connect the hot end, the touch screen, spool holder, and a few wires and you're all set up. You can literally have this up and running in less than 30 minutes if you are not like me. <laughs> I took a little bit longer because I'm reading every a uh, word in the instructions. Um, I'm doing all of the stuff, just making sure that I set it up correctly. So it took it took me probably maybe an hour to get it all set up, but I was moving really slow. If you read a little bit faster than me, you get it all in, you can get it done. It's fine. Um, it doesn't take that long, actually. It doesn't take that long. The apps and software. Anycubic offers a cloud-connected experience, so you can send files to your printer from the app from on your phone and on your computer. Um, so I use that quite a bit, actually. I use I use the app to actually check the progress more so than that than I do sending files to the printer. Um, I use the Slicer software on the computer to send all of my files um, to the to the printer. It just seems I just like that better. But you can you can definitely only use your your phone app because it has a slicing software on the app itself. 3D printers need software that's called slicers to tell the printer how much filament to use, the specific layer it's on, and how hot it needs to print and where to move the actual hot end because it's moving the hot end left and right and the bed forward and backwards to make it to get to print and to print in 3D space. So I'll link some other videos um, if you want to learn more about slicers and 3D printers, um, they go a little bit more in depth than I'm going to go here. So in most of my videos, you can see in the wall behind me right there, um, that hex honeycomb wall that was printed on my um, 3D printer. All the tools on there, everything, everything, all that stuff. I'm putting it going the wrong way. All this stuff right here, all the holders. Uh, I got a Xbox controller holder right there. You can see I got a holder for um, headphones. I got all of the tools that I use for the 3D printer on that wall back there. And that was all printed. So and that's what I use first. I created all that stuff. So shelves, toys, hooks, door stops. I printed all those type of things. This is one of my favorites right here. This is a fidget spinner and it prints off. Let me grab the other one. It prints off. It actually prints off pretty small. So this is 100%, no, this is 200%. This is 300%. And then I have <laughs> the big boy, 400%. And this was all printed using a 3D printer. It came from a spool of filament and it prints this this out. So these are just like my little toys. I, I, found, I found this hilarious. That, I'm, <laughs> that you could print this little fidget spinner and I wanted something that I could hold in my hand and print, print big enough to hold in my hand. So after I printed that one, I printed this one. I was like, okay, I can go bigger because I can still hold this in one hand. 
So this was the next size that I, I printed. I still can hold this in one hand and, and, and spin it. But I stopped there. I, I think I'm gonna print like a 500% one. I printed phone cases. This is a phone case I printed for my daughter. I put her, I put her name on, a, on there. Cool part about this is that you can print stuff inside of a 3D printer. So I put a, a magnetic ring on there so she can use the MagSafe stuff like Apple uses. So her name, this is all made. This is this is the original, like one store-bought one. You see this? It goes right back. I can do the same thing with something that I actually that I actually printed. I actually printed that. Um, some other things that you can print. So I printed a tolerance test right here. And this is this is just so you can see how close or tight you can make things and they'll, they'll still move. So there's a thing called print in place, excuse me, in a, that fidget, fidget spinner type thing. The fidget spinner type thing is what, what this is based off of. You can print something all the way down to 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So if mine, the printer comes in. So I, I will say the, between the Cobra Pro 2 and the Cobra 3, I wasn't able to get this type of functionality with the print. Like it was, it was off. I had to do more calibrations and I don't want to calibrate anything. This is what this review is for. I don't want to calibrate. I, want, I don't want you to go buy a printer and you have to tinker around with it all day and night trying to get it to print things so, so it will move. Right, you just want to plug it in, set it up with minimal, minimal hassle, put some filament in, and let that thing go. So, the Cobra 3 is where it's at right now. This, this, I didn't have to do, I didn't have to do anything. This all came out perfectly. Um, I printed this out, so I'm using the color system right there. I printed, print this for my wife. It's a name badge. I'll link this down below. Selling some of these on Etsy. <laughs> also, I printed some frames. Have you guys heard of the pair? Where you get the glasses, you put toppers on top of them. So I'm uh, I'm looking at printing. That was so so close. You couldn't see that. I'm printing some of these. This this was a test in fe flexible filament. Um, I can see the quality right here. I don't know if you can see that. See the quality right there. I might have to zoom in to something but just pieces like this, I mean, this is solid, very strong. So like I, like I said, you can print a lot of things with this. Um, the main reason I had bought the first one was to do these phone cases. This is made out of TPU, so it's flexible. Um, the other thing that I was holding up, the other stuff that I was holding up was made out of PLA. I'm not gonna go into all that, all that detail, but TPU is with, phone cases are normally made out of because it's flexible and it bounces and it still gives you some rigidity in your um, prints. So I made phone cases for my wife, my my son and my daughter. I was working on one for myself. I'm still working on it. Um, but it's, it's kind of magic, guys. It is honestly like magic to think that I can take something that comes on the spool like this this is white, white filament. It's so white that you probably can't see. It's probably blown out. Um, and you can turn it into anything. I mean, I've made an egg um, crate. I made little containers that sit in the refrigerator so it's still kind of organized in the refrigerator. If you can dream it up, someone probably has already created it, a model for it that you can print or you can design it yourself and print, it, print prototypes. I made this um, right here. This is for those glasses, you sit the glasses inside, the toppers inside, like this. Let's see if you can see it. You sit them inside like this. They, they have like little shelves inside of there. You can see right there. They have like little shelves right there. And it's just like a little container that I printed. I was thinking, well, I mean, I can probably go find something and buy something or I can just make something myself to see if I can make it. And that's what I do. 
and that you will have to learn more software, but you don't have to go down that road if you don't want to. You can you can literally just go down to places like Maker Online, Printables, Thingiverse, or even paid services. I don't use many of those services, the paid services, but uh, you can, and they have really well-designed uh, files that are ready to go off the bat. So I figure I could design stuff myself, and that's what I do. So um, I'll, I'm, a, I'm a tinkerer, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna try to figure it out. Anyway, this multicolor stuff, man. So multicolor printing, um, you could always multicolor print, especially like this. So if you had one color, let's say green and you have blue, you could stop the printer, change filament, and then start printing again. And you could you could do this exact thing. So that that's tedious. What if I had three, four, five, colors that I want to put on there. That's, that's gonna take me forever. I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to watch the printer first of all. And then I'm gonna have to figure out what layer, pause, go back, come back in and figure out what color I need to switch it to. So enter the ACE, the automatic color engine, which is ACE. It takes the switching over for you, so you don't have to worry about it. I printed this right here, so it's two colors. It, it just switches by itself, so it's printing every layer all the way black and white, all the way till it gets to the, this blue. And then it'll switch automatically by itself, and it'll switch back to black, and it'll switch back to blue, and it'll switch back to black. So the reason why this is like, like I printed like this and not in, in between like these, because this takes a shorter amount of time. This takes a lot longer. The longest thing that I've printed has been like 14 hours or, or so. If the printer ran out of filament at like 4 a.m., I would have to wait to change the filament again and restart the print. So that would have made that 14 hour print somewhere like 20, 24 hours. I mean, that's that's crazy. That, there's nothing worse than just waking up in the middle of in the morning thinking that your print is done just to see that it's paused because you don't have enough filament in there or it's spaghetti, that means it's messed up. So I, I, don't, I think I can share some spaghetti ones. I don't know if I have any more like that, but um, <clears throat> it's really it's really bad. The color unit, the ACE, allows you to not worry about that, especially if you have multiple filaments of the same color, so you don't have to worry about it. If I had like a 24 hour print, if I load all of the spool holders up with the same filament, I could print continuously until all those spools run out. So 24 hours plus, I could run and make that print continue without any intervention on my part. I normally don't print that many colors, so I print in the this le level with different colors, but I usually don't print intricate stuff like this. I was doing it to test. Um, so I, I use the ACE to hold different colors in the printer so I can switch faster because this, like I said, this this took probably somewhere between 40 minutes to an hour because of the size. And this took probably an hour and 45 minutes um, because of the multiple layers of switching the filament. This one comes out when it switches. It has to purge the filament to continue printing or switching color. How long does it take to print anything? It, that depends on a few different factors. Let's just stick with PLA. And then high speed PLA at that. Um, the main place, like I said, it takes about about an hour, a little bit less to print. These in two colors, let me tell you, this is not a fast process. So don't get it twisted. This is not fast at all, but it is satisfying once it's complete. So, I mean, you can, you can print small things in 15 minutes, 10 minutes, um, maybe two or three minutes, maybe 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 four minutes for this, because it has to warm up, the printer has to warm up, has to do all, all its things. But it is satisfying to see some, something that you create in real life, 3D. So, be aware, <laughs> if you buy one, it's not gonna be plug it in and I got something five seconds after I plug it in. That's not how it goes. It's just not how, where we are, but they are faster. So I think four or 500 millimeters per second. That means nothing to you guys, I, I know, but 
That just means it prints fast. It prints really, really fast. But with speed comes inconsistencies and greater margin of error with speed. So slow is better actually. And the slower you go, the more time it has for it to lay it down correctly. And it's just, it just it's just better to go slow when you print. Um, but I'm pushing it as far as fast as I can. Sometimes I go into sport mode. There's a there's a couple different modes. You can go to slow, um, regular, and sport. And if I'm doing straight lines, squares, and everything, maybe even circles, we're gonna let that first layer go down and we're gonna go to sport. It's gonna fly. It's gonna cut, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes off, 15, 30 minutes off the printing time. Um, but again, you'll have to test that. If you get one, you'll have to test it. Oh, sh should you get one? Me? Yes. Get one. If you got the money, get it. Why not? You don't spend that on hamburgers and hot dogs. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna get nothing. You know, get you a drink. That's probably one month of going out to eat. Honestly, you spend twenty, thirty dollars every time you go out. That's ten meals, right? So, ten meals, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. You can do it. I say do it. If you like to tinker, if you want to explore, you want to be creative. This is the way to do it. You could bring almost anything you think of to life with 3D printer. You can even use services like Fiverr or somebody to a 3D model designer and print what you need on your 3D printer. It's, it's amazing, it, it, it is amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed this purchase, the Anycubic Cobra 3 with Ace. I'm, I'm probably gonna get another one. Don't tell my wife, don't y'all do it. I'm probably gonna get another one, if. I can start a business or something with it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe a second one at this time would be too much because it's not running all the time. But in the future, in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Until next time. Peace.